Now, more than 100 years later, while we have more tools and knowledge to combat a pandemic, there are still so many unanswered questions. Here on Currents News, we're trying to answer your questions in our weekly segment, Ask the Doctor. Joining me now is Dr. Robert Tabali from the Catholic Medical Association. And Dr. Tabali, I'm just finding out now that you actually had the coronavirus. Tell us, what was that like and how are you feeling now? Well, I had it for about two weeks, and like many patients, I felt kind of poorly initially, felt better, and then had a sudden worsening. Hmm. I was not admitted to a hospital, and therefore here in Illinois, I didn't meet criteria to have a test done, uh, a nasal swab, but uh, I, I did recover. I feel much better now, and I got a blood test uh, that's much talked about these days, and I was positive on the antibodies, so I definitely did have it. Uh, fortunately, no one else in my office or people around me that I know of uh, did I give it to them. But my wife still doesn't trust me. She walks around the house with a face mask on now. <laughs> so. Well, I don't blame her, and I'm glad to hear that you are doing better. And I want to get to one of our questions from our viewers tonight. Judy wants to know, if we take Tylenol before going food shopping, could it help to ward off the virus? Uh, that's a good question, insightful, but probably Tylenol would not be helpful at all. Um, it it's really covers symptoms like uh, fever and pain and aches, but it, it doesn't do anything to prevent acquisition of this virus. Um, you would want to go out with a mask on. You would want to go out and have some gloves uh, to, to, to pick things up and so on. Uh, but uh, taking Tylenol won't be helpful. All right. Our next question, a study recently published in the New England Journal of Medicine showed more than two thirds of patients who were severely ill with COVID-19 improved after being treated with the drug remdesivir and uh, Bronx Hospital is actually using it in clinical trials. It sounds promising. What do you think? Oh, I'm very excited about it. Uh, a couple of months ago, there was early news out of China um, that it was very, very helpful. And the first patient in the United States in Washington state actually was treated with remdesivir when they had a very significant worsening. And he was discharged from the hospital two days later. Wow. So it, it's an intravenous uh, medicine. So it's not for everyone. Um, but there, there are some other similar medicines uh, that are highly appear to be highly effective. Uh, favipiravir, which is also known as Avigan, mm -hmm. which is a Japanese medicine, may be very helpful. Um, but it, it similarly showed dramatic improvement in patients in China with uh, a, a, uh, a complete uh, cessation of virus production after four days of uh, therapy. But that's a pill. Uh, Okay. Uh, favipiravir. Yeah. So wow. there's a number of medicines that appear to be very promising uh, to treat patients that are severely ill. Again, the remdesivir needs to be given early. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you can't give it to someone who's in multi-system organ failure, kidney failure, respiratory failure, and expect them to improve. But it's an early therapy. And um, the company has actually been revving up uh, production of the medicine. It may be widely available soon, very soon. All right, that's good news. And are doctors looking into whether having the seasonal flu vaccine offers any type of protection against COVID-19? Uh, to my knowledge, no. Um, we do know that the antibodies from a seasonal flu do not cross-react with uh, antibodies from this uh, scientists call the SARS-CoV-2 or SARS-CoV-2, the COVID-19. So I, I would you know, it's possible there could be some uh, improvement, but uh, it's unlikely that uh, uh, flu vaccine. Other people are asking, could yellow fever vaccination status uh, help protect in the situation? Uh, that's an interesting thought, but probably not. Uh, there really isn't anything, uh, even being infected with the seasonal uh, uh, cold virus, coronaviruses, there's, there's multiple others that circulate, but don't cause this type of illness. They don't cross react with this. Uh, uh, virus either. They're not cross protective. All right. We have so many more questions, but we'll save them for next week. Dr. Robert Tavali from the Catholic Medical Association. Thanks so much for joining us. Okay. Stay safe. Happy Easter. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.